Welcome to my first YouTube video. Uh, this first one's really just to try the, the settings and the camera and position and whatnot. But I'm currently working on the 1 to 200 scale uh, paper model Borendino by Tom Pumaggi. Uh, at the moment, I've probably did the, the bulk of the work. The last remaining items to do are the, the masts the ship's boats and a lot of the little details along the side like accommodation ladder, tablets, etc. The part I do want to work on for this video is the 47mm Hotchkiss uh, deck guns. It's dotted throughout the uh, superstructure. So well, let's have a look at what's involved in that. Okay, so here's the, the guns here. Uh, made up of eight or nine different parts. We'll just have a look through each of them now. Uh, one of three, that's the, uh, the base plate. So, circular cut. There's a few different uh, methods to do that, and I'll probably show a couple of the ones that you can use. Uh, some is better than others. And potentially a third option, but we'll, we'll touch on that. Next up, so on the pedestals. So, as you can see by the shape, uh, circle at the base, circle at the top, and a cone shape. So, what we do is we'll cut these out, roll them, include this edge here, and then that will form the cone for that, which hopefully uh, isn't too problematic. Moving up into the gun shields, what we have is uh, two parts which are folded. Uh, based on the thickness of the paper. So what I might do is just paint the back, the back side black and, and just use one part. If, if they're folded up, they're you know, looking at 100 mil to 4 inch uh, real size, which seems overscale to myself. So uh, we'll just use the one on that. On the, the gun itself, it's made up of a paper part for the thicker side of it, which is this, which has to be rolled, and then H5, that's to use a piece of brass for that. However, for the, the gun barrels, I actually have tan brass ones that I'll, I'll use instead of this in the, the brass rod, because these are quite nice. Onto the stock here, again, uh, we fold the part here to, to achieve the thickness. However, there is photo which available, and I just have one here to show you. So, we'll uh, join these together, which I think is going to be problematic because, based on what I can tell from here, the, sorry, the actual connection point is going to be very small. So, I, I don't think glue is going to hold. What we'll do is uh, we'll try solder on this. I'll, I'll make up a, a small jig just to hold everything in the correct position. And we'll, we'll try soldering these. Uh, another part here is this swivel or the gun mount. It's a simple part with two folds on it to wrap around the, the barrel. The breech block that's made up of one part which is folded into small box. However, the paper on this kit's not that great for doing very small uh, folds, so I might just replace the, the breech block with a piece of styrene or something. I'll, I'll have, I think, a best way to do that one. Uh, I think that's a good bit. Oh, this swivel here, this is made up from a thin piece of paper which we roll around 0.8mm uh, brass rod. Uh, what I'll do through is I'll just use this horizontal part here, which is effectively that there, and just wrap that around the point eight brass rod and just put it right through the center. That will stiffen up and give it a bit of strength based on special piece of weight to the, the brass components now. If it was off paper it wouldn't matter so much. But what I'll do is I'll go off and have a think how I'm going to do the barrels here for the soldering and then we'll come back uh, 
and, and how we go with that. I'll, I'll make up a jig to hold it and then go in. we can have a look at that next. Okay, so I've made up a, a jig here to hold the stock and the barrel ready for soldering. So it's just made up of bits of paper and card just to hold everything in the center line here uh, based on the small surface area to solder. So hopefully everything should just should just drop into oops, should just drop into place here. Make sure we get the right way around. So that now holds that stock in the center line. And then the bottom will drop in through here. So this is again keeping the distance correct and keeping it center aligned. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the small surface area there for the solder. So this will also allow the pressing of the solder and arm to hold it down and to apply the heat without uh, moving anything or alignment. Hopefully the, the card and paper won't be affected by the heat, but uh, it should be such a short time. It might darken or blacken, but it, it shouldn't burn, so we'll get on to that next. I'll have to apply a flux here and a wee bit of flux to the barrel as well and then we'll, I'll show you, we'll cut some uh, solder. We'll just cut a piece of solder off this. This is flux cord but uh, when you actually cut it, you, the flux comes off because we'll just take a quarter of this, a slice and a quarter, so that should be plenty. Okay, we'll see if I can uh, show you the solder. Actually, let's just go up here. I'm not sure if you can see the flux cord in the center there, but really all we need is cameras on the wrong side. Just need a tiny little sliver like that, and then we'll cut it again. And then, oops, that's all we we'll use. That tiny bit of solder, that's more than enough to, to secure that. So we'll try that next. Okay, so let's give this a bit of a, the components a bit of a clean up, just to remove any contaminants. Uh, best way to do this one, I think. Right, so flux next. Uh, this is just a, a copy paste from the hardware store, but hopefully it'll be, uh, be okay for this purpose. So just apply a wee bit with the uh, paintbrush. And then we'll set that in place. It's going to be sticky. And there we go. And we'll just apply it to the bottle as well. I'll do it all the way around just so I don't need to worry about where it's at the placement of it. should stick the two things together. Okay. And now we'll do the, the little solder. If we did, I'll just have to move it off shot, I think. See if we can get it into the 
this space. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's give this a go. I just realised that you can't use a soldering iron with an extension cord, so uh, I had to re reset the thing up. Let's give this a try. Just wait to see if I can see the solder flash off, and there it goes. Okay. Let's see. Kind of bent a bit. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened. Uh, oh, okay. That's okay. It can be straightened out. Let's, let's see if we can do that. It's not too bad, huh? So I hope you can see that. Uh, turn it over if I can't. Here we go. There we go. So, as you can see, uh, not a great deal of soldering required for that. But it just uh, joins it a lot better than you could with a uh, CA glue. So you can see, that's pretty looking pretty good. Uh, this is the first of 20 I have to do, so hopefully I'll get my technique down a bit better. Uh, I think it took a bit of time for the heat to pass through the gun barrel to hit that. A wee bit of a bend there, probably pressing a bit too hard, trying to get it to, to heat up a bit. It's more than, more than acceptable, I think. So, we'll do the breech block in here as well, and then we'll just uh, airbrush uh, the whole gun black. I could try and blacken it using the blackening solution, but I think it won't work on the solder, so I'd have to touch it up anyway. But yeah, that's one done. The jig, uh, a bit of burning but that's okay we've still got the set distances anyway so that doesn't matter cool i'll get on to the next the other 19 now 